on YouTube. Uh, man, what a nightmare, man. Anis Lamney, uh, <laughs> Laura versus Yuri Foreman for the WBA junior middleweight title. Um, Yuri Foreman, if you guys know him, uh, I guess he, I mean, he used to hold the belt. I can't really guess. He used to hold the belt. He used to be the WBA champion, but, um, after losing to Miguel Cotto, I guess you can make an excuse for him that he had a bum knee or whatever like that. Um, yeah, that's sad for Miguel Cotto, man. He's going to have that on his record. That he won championship versus guys that had, like, bum knees. I mean, it's not his fault because, I mean, he didn't force these guys going to the ring or whatnot. But, you know, Yuri Foreman, you know, um, his knee gave out on him. And then, you know, with um, Martinez, uh, after one slap upside the head, you know what I'm saying, with a hook. Uh, his knee all of a sudden gave out on him. So, but yeah, Yuri Foreman, man. Um, I don't know where he's been. Uh, looking at his last couple opponents over the past four or five years. Um, yeah, man, it looks like it's been like a year and a half layoff between 2011. And then, um, he got back into the ring of January of uh, 2013. So in 2011, uh, March 12th, uh, he lost to this guy, Wolak. You know, Powell Wolak. I don't know if you guys remember that guy. You guys probably remember him. He had some memorable fights with Devlin uh, Rodriguez and whatnot. So, yeah, long story short, man, um... Yeah, so after, uh, like, 2013, Yuri Foreman, he's, like, back and form. He's, like, I think he fought what? How many times? Let's see. Four times, man, in 2013. Wow, that's a lot, man. He was on a roll. I don't know whether he got injured or not, but then he takes, like, a two-year layoff. And then, um, yeah, it gets back into the ring in 2015, in December 2015. So, anyway, long story short, man, I think it's, um, I think it's, <laughs> it is what it is, man. It is what it is. I, I think the stick is terrible, man. You know, sorry to rain on Anna's Landy, Anna's Landy uh, Laura's parade, but I think it's a terrible fight. I don't, you know, I mean, it's the WBA I don't know if they're struggling to find an opponent for Laura or what's going on, but it's on Spike. Um, you sh- I mean, if he had just basic K, we should be able to get, uh, you know, Spike TV. But, yeah, man, I, I can remember, man, Laura came to uh, Shy Town or whatever, man. Um, I think that was around the time um, Glowaki and Marco Hook were supposed to fight or whatnot. And that fight got rescheduled, and he put Laura up in there, man. I didn't even go see that fight, man. I was going to take off to go see, see uh, Marco Hook versus what's his name. And, yeah, man, so, I, so yeah, I don't even like Laura, man. Anthony Durrell, he's cool, man. I took a picture with him. He tried not to give me a picture, man. He tried not to give me a picture. I was like, yo. He tried to sneak out the back. But I got him, though. I chased him down. He was like, come on, man. Just come take this picture. But, yeah, I got it, though, man. It's all good, though. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that, man. Laura, man, Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th, man, it's, I mean, I, I don't think it gets worse than this, man. It's like a bad Tromaville movie, you know what I'm saying, with, with Laura. It's like a bad, it's like a bad horror movie, you know, those B movies, those Tromaville movies with the Toxic Avenger. Yeah, if y'all ain't never seen one of those, watch one of those. 
And that's what's going down with uh, Laura and Yuri Foreman. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Laura says he's going to show out. But you, we know, we all know who know uh, what Laura is all about. You know what I'm saying? He's just gonna uh, backpedal all night, throw a couple punches at a time. He's not gonna take any risk at all. Um, somebody say he's milling, but um, somebody say he's running. But whatever it is, he ain't gonna be fighting or nothing like that, man. Uh, which is surprising, man, because, you know, he comes from Cuba and he took so many risks, you know, just trying to, to make it to the United States and stuff like that. Um, you 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 would think that, he, I mean, he'll take some risk. I mean, I mean, he probably, I, I mean, the dude probably was like risking his life. I, I'm. I mean, I mean, he's a. I mean, he won a gold medal. And, uh, I mean, I believe he won a gold medal with uh, Cuba and whatnot. But he, I mean, he was a Cuban athlete and stuff like that. So I doubt if the Cuban government would have, um, you know, took his life or anything like that. But the fact that he was in prison so many times, and um, he was discouraged so many times into leaving the country. And he, he did whatever it took, you know. He took a lot of chances, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, rain, sleet, or sl- snow. He was trying to get to the United States, and you think he'll just try a little harder or something like that in the ring, just to just to push the envelope a little bit more. But you know, that's you know that's what the, the knock is on some of these Cuban fighters, man. As soon as they get to the United States uh, or um, the Europe like Germany or something like that, they pretty much then made it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so hopefully they mindset and stuff can change, you know, with this whole thing with going on with uh, uh, Cuba. So over time, hopefully it'll change. Uh, it, maybe they'll let their people travel or something like that, or at least do some professional boxing and whatnot. So y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I'll catch y'all later. Bye.